It's your girl's favorite foodie back at it again. Today we're gonna be making puerco and salsa verde. Hope you enjoy this recipe. Stay humble, stay blessed, and don't forget, follow me on Instagram and YouTube at your girl's favorite foodie. So here I am roasting a poblano pepper, charring the skin so it makes it easier to peel. Once we're done roasting it, we're gonna put it in a bag that way it can sweat and make it a little easier to peel the skin. The skin is something you don't want in your salsa. Man, if you guys can smell the smell this is giving off right now, I'm telling y'all, this channel, we're all about flavor. And let me tell y'all, pro tip is roasting it. Because if you ask your suegra to give you this recipe, she's going to give it to you. No doubt about it. But she's not going to tell you to roast the poblano. I'm telling you right now. This is going to give it that extra oomph. That bam. That thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? This is going to help you out, bring out that flavor that you're looking for. Okay? So here in the pot, I've added water. I'm drinking water only, no sink water, none of that stuff. We'll put about an eighth of a cup, if not a little less, of chicken seasoning, chicken bouillon, consomme de pollo, whatever you want to call it, to your desire. After we put our seasoning, we're going to be adding our tomatillos and our cilantro. And then we're going to be adding our onion, but we don't want the whole onion. We're going to use about half of it. Here I have half the onion. I've taken out the outer layer, popping it inside. We're gonna want the two garlic cloves also in there. And if you want that extra oomph, if you want the extra oomph, the damn, the ooh, that's still sabe bien bueno. Put your foot in it. You can roast off the serranos as well. I personally, since I'm boiling them with the tomatillos, the cilantro, cebolla. So now that I've seasoned and soured my pork, I'm going to be mixing it so it can incorporate all the seasonings and the little bit of flour I use and get ready to fry it up for you guys, okay? So now that I've seasoned the pork with salt and pepper and lightly dusted it with all-purpose flour, I'm going to be adding it to the pot to fry it. In the pot, I have about two tablespoons of manteca. The manteca is optional. You can use... Canola oil, vegetable oil, any type of oil you like or you prefer. Me, myself, I'm doing manteca. I feel like it gives it more flavor to my puerco and salsa Now that my pork's frying up, I've cleaned the poblano pepper. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. And to this, I'm going to be adding the tomatillo, the cilantro, the cebolla, the ajo, y los serranos. So the garlic, the onion, the tomatillo, the cilantro, and the serrano peppers are going to go in here. With a little bit of the water that I used to boil it, and we're going to blend it to make so the poblano. I've added the tomatillo, the cilantro, the cebolla, the ajo, the serranos, and about a cup of the water that was boiled in. And we put it on our blender, and then we blend. Don't forget to put on the lid. You don't have a mess. Oh no, you don't want that. So now that I finished searing all the meat, I dropped my heat down to a medium low. I'm going to be adding the salsa verde here. I did have to add a little bit of salt to it. To my liking that's going to be up to you if you want to add more salt or don't add any more salt at all once you pour this in you're going to let it simmer for about an hour hour and a half and then once it's all done you'll be ready to go you'll have your chili and salsa verde con puerco oh yeah it's going to be delicious trust the me last part this is completely optional i'm going to be adding some potatoes to the puerco and salsa verde you know it's going to thicken up the sauce just a little bit more and it's going to have a little bit of extra in there just for my liking. I mean, if you want to put the potatoes in, great. If you don't, it's going to taste great with, with or without the potatoes. So here we are with the finished product. It looks amazing. My mouth is watering. Now let's give it a try. A little bit of rice, a little bit of salsa, a little bit of meat. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me tell you what. You no, know, it's rude to talk with my mouth full, but damn. Mm. Tastes so good. I'm telling you, when you do it with the Rosa Poblano, it's a game changer. Game changer. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Take care and stay blessed.